Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, taking a first thoughts, look, see, opinion, uh, experience of Tangle Deep. Um, apparently this game, it's like a roguelike, but not in the modern sense of it just has permadeath and that's pretty much what makes it a roguelike. It's, um, it's like Mystery Dungeon, where it's actually sort of using, you know, the grid system and the turn-based everything and all that. Um, I think. We'll see. <laughs> I believe it's it's roughly similar to Mystery Dungeon. Uh, Impact Gameworks. Uh, I'm going into this having not seen anything about the game apart from being told that it's similar to Mystery Dungeon, so... Oh, that's a really nice uh, pixel art there. Oh, it's really pretty. Um, Tangle Deep, Legend of Shara. Uh, what options do we have? Manage data? So we've got four save files. Uh, I guess I can delete my saves if I want, but I don't want, so I'll just go start a new adventure. For untold generations, my people have lived deep within the earth, surrounded by verdant subterranean forests, sparkling waters, and crystalline luminance. We all have a special connection to this world, a bond with nature we call the Force. The touch, it says the touch, but it's, it's the Force. <laughs> Some of us are born with an abundance of touch, which fills them with a sense of adventure, an urge to explore the wilds beyond our home. All with the touch inherit the appearance of animals. Oh, it's a furry game! And sometimes when we fully experience the touch, we are drawn to Tangle Deep, an ever-changing labyrinth that leads upward to a world that no one has ever seen. I have never felt the touch, unlike so many others in my home of Riverstone Camp, yet there is so much I want to learn about Tangle Deep. Today I have decided I will go there and find my own answers. Select which game mode to play. This cannot be changed once the game has started. Heroic mode. If you reach 0 HP, the game ends permadeath. Only banked goods and town progress will be saved. This is challenging, but also the intended way to experience Tangle Deep. So basically this is the way Mystery Dungeon works. Uh, you lose everything you were carrying, but stuff you had in the bank and in town are kept. Uh, adventure mode. If you reach 0 HP, you will return to town. You will lose half of your money, unspent JP, and XP progress. Recommend for roguelike beginners. Hardcore mode. If you reach 0 HP, the game ends permadeath. All traces of your adventure are permanently erased. Previous metadata on this slot will be erased upon starting. Recommended only for seasoned players. Let's go with heroic. Uh, what we got? Oh, look at this cutie. Oh, adorable. Uh, there's some hidden jobs I haven't unlocked yet. Oh, they're so cute! Uh, let's see, Brigand, Floromancer, Sword Dancer, Paladin, Budoka, Hunter, Calligrapher, Shapeshifter, Edge Thane, Soul Keeper. Uh, let's go with Floromancer. It's like two feats. These are permanent bonuses. Uh... Let's get Scavenger, find more and better loot, and Quick Step. I reckon. What is our heroine's name? Murai. That's a good name, I like it. Uh... I don't know if that's randomised or if that's just the default name. I know I can press X to get a random name, but I'm happy with Mirai. Let's go. Ready to begin your adventure? Let's go! Use your healing flask to restore HP over time. Find fountains to get more flask charges. Oh, look at that little kitty. Look at that little kitty! Oh. Okay, so it's loading by showing the game title coloring itself in there. It's pretty good. Always keep at least one ranged weapon on hand to weaken monsters at a distance. I've been waiting to get out of here for so long. I can hear them, all of them, singing, laughing, sharing stories. Tangle Leap is so noisy and alive. Today I'm going to make new friends and they'll tell me everything. Use the left stick to select a direction for your movement. Press A to take a step on the grid in that direction, attack an enemy or break an object. Hold day to keep running in the direction you're facing. You can move the left stick while running to change directions. Interesting. So, yeah, uh, the left stick doesn't make you move. 
You can see I've got this little arrow, that's me tilting the stick in different directions. You don't move when you do that. You actually have to press A to move. Or... Oh, you have to press A while tilting the stick or it doesn't work. Interesting. Box of mints. Katie Twinkles. Katie Twinkles. <gasps> You've arrived! Yeah, Best day ever! You and me are going to get along so great. We're going to take such care of each other. You're climbing all the way to the top. The tippy top of Tangle Leap. See my loots. Swords and boots. We're prepared for any route. You can do it. Sorry, Root. Any Root. You're so peppy. It's a family tradition. My sisters and I just love adventurers like you. We think you're the coolest and the strongest and the best. Nyaaah. We keep our shops chock full of the spangle sparkliest gear we can find and sell it cheap. Power sold for little gold to arm our heroes strong and bold. That's our family motto. Nyaaah. Hooray. Money's tight. I'll set you right. Armor up and win the fight. Nyaaah. <laughs> uh, what do we got? Apprentice's staff. Stuff I have better? No, it's worse. Interesting. I have exactly 100 G. Hmm. I can say I can't afford most of these things. Hmm. Percy Healer, Aaron Rumor Gatherer. Tangle Leap has as many tails as leaves and branches. Legends stand tall like ancient trees, but they're grounded in winding roots and countless stories. Would you like to make some stories of your own? Tell me. Here's one way to make a name for yourself. Discover Applewood Grove. There are rumours of a place called Applewood Grove that can be reached through Cedar Caverns. One floor. One F. Seek it out and see what lies in wait. Rewards. 197G. I'll take it. So you do side quests. Okay. Welcome to my bank. You pay me a reasonable market-based fee. I keep your golden items safe and sound. Transaction that benefits us both, yes? I can store up to 30 items for you and as much money as you want. Storing things will cost you, but withdrawals are free. Your items and gold will be safe and sound with me, even if you don't make it back. If such an unfortunate and unlikely end comes to pass, future adventures can benefit from your kind philanthropy. All these powerful weapons and armor you've outgrown, why not leave them here? Okay, so yeah. Uh, just like in Mystery Dungeon, you have to cash in items with this guy in order to keep them if you die. Up, Riverstone Camp Merchants, right Tangle Deep down, Riverstone Grove, Monster Corral, and Tree Grove. I assume I want to head this sort of direction. Julia hands you several healing items for your journey. Today's the big day! I'm so excited for you! Have you spoken to Erin at the campfire yet? She'll give you rumors that help guide your journey into Tangle Deep. You'll even earn rewards for investigating them. I've heard some rumors myself, things I couldn't quite believe. What rumors have you heard? Everyone knows about the monsters and ruffians hanging out just ahead in the follies. Beyond that, everything is shrouded in mystery. People have brought back powerful, ancient gear, and there are stories of ruined old cities, valleys made of fungus, and metal that lives. If even half of that is true, well, you're in for some adventure, that's for sure. The greatest treasure of all is knowledge. What's up there? What's at the end? Is there even an end? There's so much we don't know about where we came from. Your heroism will help us all. <laughs> Would you like to play the two tutorial floors? Yeah, sure. Path to Tangle Deep 1F. Tricky. Tangle Deep is turn-based. The monsters only move when you do. Take your time planning your next action. You have enough job points to learn a new skill. Press plus to view the skills tab. You can use the skills on your hotbar by pressing X and then selecting the skill. Uh... Where do my skills show up? Job points, I have two. Okay, so I can learn something that costs 200. Oh, I see. It's, it's these ones. I can learn these ones. Summon Floriconda. Conjure Vine Wall. Vine Swing. Bed of Thorns. I'm guessing I want Summon Floriconda. That sounds like the most powerful one. Do I heal as I walk around in this game? Doesn't look like it. Some roguelikes you do. 
Can I wait? Is there a wait button? Ah! I'm taking a decent amount of damage here. Treasure! Where'd I get? Qatar. Holding this just makes me want to shout, I'm gonna punch your lights out with a sword in your face. <laughs> nice. Uh, do I need to switch to it? Switch to. Need to pass time without moving, open the ring menu and select. Okay, that's how you that's how you wait in this game. Okay. You need to heal up. Drink from your flask by selecting the ring menu and selecting that icon. You generate dead spear over time and doesn't use a turn. Look for fountains and walk on them to refill your flask, which can hold unlimited charges. Uh, I was hoping I could attack the ice shard, but I just sort of walked through it. Uh, there we go. Treasure! What did I get? Simple sling. Oh, okay, so I can do ranged attacks. Um, how do I take the stairs? Oh, just press A. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, this is a very traditional design of roguelike. Uh, I like it. Where are you going, slime? Oh, I can use the shoulder buttons to switch between my weapons and stuff. How do I use a ranged weapon? Oh my goodness. You've got a power-up. These glowing orbs restore stamina or energy when you step on them. You find power-ups at random by defeating monsters or striking with a melee weapon like sword or axe. The chance of finding power-ups increases with your guile stat. If you have low stamina or energy, but the chance decreases if the monster is not challenging. Trivial and worthless monsters probably won't drop them at all. Water allows you to more easily dodge ranged attacks and empowers lightning. Lava hurts you and can hurt most monsters. Mud can root you in place. Certain terrain may enhance or decrease elemental damage too. Check the ground before you move. So go ahead to return to town every so often to sell items, stock up on supplies, and check for new rumors. Use your escape portal, press ring menu, and select that, and you'll walk back to town for a short delay. You can then take the return portal from town to end up right back here. Oh, okay. So I can go back to town and like bank stuff in the middle of a run. Is that too much hassle? I'm not really sure how I use my special abilities, my skills and stuff. Uh, I can get a little mini map, or a really big mini map, as the case may be. <laughs> um, Use the slots. What am I missing? You see, I can go through the slots for my weapons like this, but the other slots I don't know. It doesn't need to be in the ring menu either. There's a little frog, there's a little apple. Uh, it doesn't seem to be the same icons, so. Hmm. Uh, that's a thing. Oh, I press X. Okay.
Cheese? I got, I got some cheese. That's good. I like cheese. <laughs> okay, so do, do a ranged attack. You press Y and then it locks on and you can go... Pew. Treasure. Another guitar. Is it better than the one I already had? Uh, I think it's the same. Yeah, it's identical to the other one. Still cool. I'll replace the damage sling with it. Slot 4. Actually, I can put something in my offhand. Do I want to do that? I don't know if that does anything. Um... If I put the staff in my offhand like this... Then I've got two weapons equipped at once, right? You've reached level 2 and all your stats have grown. Select one below to give that start that an extra plus 3 boost. Strength for melee damage and physical defense. CT gain, critical hit damage and bow damage. Spirit power, staff damage, power up recovery. Elemental damage, buff duration, summoned pet HP, staff damage. Crit chance, parry chance, power up, drop rate. Um, I think Guile? Let's see how we go with that. Make to the stairs. <laughs> Entering the Follies. The safest areas of Tangle Leap are still dangerous. Many have tried to tame it, but nature wins in the end. Ornery critters and unsavory characters call the Follies home. My flask. Oh. Oh, there's a bad guy. Probably. Yeah. Applewood Grove? Yeah, completed. Discover Applewood Grove. Rewards 197G. You found a side area. Side areas are marked with a treasure chest in the upper left next to the area name. Side areas can have extra rewards, challenges, and characters to meet. Once you're done here, go back the way you came and return to the main dungeon path. Okay. Yeah, it's got a bunch of apples that are yellow and um banana shaped. <laughs> friend. The area is now free of monsters. Go back the way you came to the rest of the dungeon. For a shortcut, use your escape portal to walk to the entrance when ready. Okay, there is actually there is actually some apple here as well, so I guess Applewood Grove isn't the weirdest name for it. I get everything. I think I got everything. Okay. Uh, I think I can get another job at this point. Hang on.
Yeah, learn abilities. Yeah, I can afford a bunch of other stuff. Um, photosynthesis. Power up your plant based summons. Ooh, that does sound good. Conjure vine wall. Vine swing. Spinning plant next. That sounds good. Okay, back to Cedar Caverns. Oh, it's extra strong. I got flowering spice bark seeds. That sounds interesting. Flask again. <laughs> um, Cedar Cabin's level two. My goodness. Oh, it's a campfire. Are you a friend? Hey, it's not safe to travel by yourself, especially around these parts. Plus, you look pretty beat. Tell you what, I'll let you crash here if you take turns keeping watch with me. Okay, deal. Not a bad deal, right? We'll even take the first watch. You just get some sleep by the fire. How do I sleep? I don't know. Do I just talk to the fire? Yeah. Rest. Hmm. Yeah, I think I want to rest. Sleep well, champ. Looks like it's time to go our separate ways. Oh, and you have some of those leftovers I cooked last night. You unlocked the gambler job for this save slot. You may need to start new characters with this job or change any time we're talking to Percy in Riverstone Camp. Huh. Uh, I thought I was supposed to take watch as well, but it didn't didn't happen. <laughs> Alright. Onwards. Found club on the ground. 47J on the ground. Uh. You doing okay there, plant? Oh god, spiders. Protect me! Oh my goodness. Level 3! Um... Hmm... Discipline, I reckon. Oh god, another spider.
There might be another fountain around, which is why I'm having a bit of a look around. Oh, running shoes. That sounds good. Uh, how do I equip those? Oh, I automatically equip them. What do they do? Two CT per step. I'm not quite sure what CT does, but it uh, sounds helpful. Oh, the hand axe does more damage. Yeah, switch to. Newly obtained greedy hide armor. What does that do? Um, that sounds good. Scavenger's Haven. Heaven. This place is a gold mine. In the last two weeks, I've picked up over a dozen swords, axes, and chest plates scattered in the caves. A little sharpening for the weapons, a little patchwork for the armor, and they're good as new. If I can just keep out of the way of the monsters, I'll be set for life. Uh, try not to be electrified, if that's okay. Okay. Oh god. Scary spider. Small mystery egg, huh? I think there'd be a fountain in here, but there isn't. There's just a bunch of really scary enemies. Oh god, there's more. Oh god, are they respawning everywhere? Oh my goodness, this is so scary. Oh, Jelly Boo, Jelly Boo, where are you? Come on out, you little pile of goo. My poor pet. I came with my pet Jelly to help her get socialized with other slimes here, but she blurped away when I wasn't looking. Now, who knows what kind of dang old trouble she's in. I'm not one for much one for fighting, so I can't go looking. I gotta look for you. You do that for me? That's super nice. Shield, right? Yeah. 
I'm taking a lot of damage. Oh, is this a good friendly sign? Hey, Jelly Boo. Um, your master is looking for you? <laughs> blob, blob, blob. Fountain. Soldier's Javelin. Interesting. Ah, mud. My one weakness. I found a garnet. Shame it's in my hand. Forty-seven G on the ground. Oh, a book. Simple Codex. Safe area, side area clear, bonus JP 44. This area is now free of monsters. Oh, look at all the stuff. Ooh, bad luck's of conjuration, that sounds good. It's all adjacent. Someone's last turn. Oh yeah, that sounds really good. I could just spin around yelling in this piece would still do great work. Nice. Uh, equip in slot one. There we go. Sturdy boots. Separately mob with no penalty. Guitar. It's the same as the one I already have. Simple codex. Oh, I see. It boosts my magic and stuff, but I have to hold it. So I'll just javelin. Mm, that might be good. I don't know if I can throw it or not. Uh, slot 2. Let's give it a try. Mm, I can't throw it at anything, so I can't try out throwing it. <laughs> I picked up robes. I'm guessing that boosts my magic, but it has bad defense. That's usually what that kind of thing does. Well, I'll be damned. You found my jelly boo. Don't know what I would have done if anything happened to this dumb old goober. Thank you. You're a real gem. I owe you one. Uh, I found some tree seeds in, in my, in my pocket. Here you go. Wow. Gee, thanks. Shining dazzle leaf seeds. That sounds pretty good. I don't know what it is, but it sounds good. I should probably walk back to town and, like, cash in some stuff. Uh, hello, spider. Gain condition escaping dungeon. How long does it take to activate? There we go. Like five turns. What's all that noise? Sounds like something's making a ruckus in Riverstone Grove. That's where the monster corral is. I better check it out. Tangle Leaf has many tales. You've seen this already. Tell me. Here's some way to make a name for yourself. Delight the Tangle Leaf curry-loving panthox. See the caverns for the Horde's Tangle Leaf curries. Drop one of those near the monster and see what happens. Quarter and two G, a pack of restorative items. Yeah, I'll take it. Hello. Welcome to Nando's. Uh, tell me about your food. Wonderful. Uh, hello. All common unequipped room valuables? Uh, yes. 418G. Not bad. I can afford lots of stuff now. Uh, do I want it though? Let's have a look. Stable concoction, I already have one of those. Mm. 
Greedy short sword. It's actually a decent weapon. Hand axe of treasures. Lucky short bow. Water touch. Simple codex. Robes. What do garnets do? Oh, I think I just sold them to you, and that's why I can see them now. I think that's how it works. Just carrying a lot of stuff that I was carrying before, so that checks out. Wardrobe? Oh, clothes. Change clothes? Oh, I need to learn more jobs, I see. Uh, can I talk to that guy? Hello. The winding threads of destiny have thwart with peril. Neither the quill nor the spoken word will save you. Trust only the blade of the axe, the feathers of the bow, and your own fighting spirit. Return to me when you become advanced in your job, and I'll teach you the path to, to weapon mastery. Okay, so I need to level up some more before I can do that. Uh, what's this guy do? Healer. Hello, dear child. Many blessings upon you. You and all the unshelled. Healing is a slow and natural process. Your adventures are in a rush. So it goes. Okay, I so say you can pay 50g to get healed or 100 job points. Or you can say that's expensive. Change jobs. That costs 300g. When switching to a new job, you'll keep your experience and level, plus all your learn skills. You'll lose the innate traits and stat bonuses of your old job. Uh, you will then inherit the innate traits and bonuses of the new job, and you'll learn its skills as well. Your job points are not carried over the new job, as JP is stored separately for each job. So it works pretty much exactly like Octopath Traveler. Uh, fair enough. That's a blessing. Of course, fortune will watch over you for 99 turns while adventuring. What boon do you seek? Wisdom, mastery, or power protection? Eh. Thanks, Percy. It's gonna go up look around. Do it turns out he account? I'm guessing yes, but I'm not really sure. Today's the big day! I'm so excited, blah blah blah. I've already heard that. Uh, you didn't say anything new. Okay. Oh, you there! One of my critters escaped during bath time. I need him back in the corral. Lend me a hand, would ya? Attack the beast in your 15 health or lower, then grab that monster mallet and use it for inventory. Knock out the critter and bring her over here. Okay, I got the monster mallet. Uh, I think I'm doing a bit too much damage. Let's switch to something a bit weaker. Okay, there we go. Uh, now I can use the mallet. Button. No, that's the right button. Nice job wrangling that frog, miss. Now that it's knocked out, you can drag it over here to the corral and we'll get him nice and situated. No need to worry about the quitter waking up either. That frog is proper knacking and won't move on its own. Okay, uh, so what do I do now? Do I just push it around? Oh, it's actually attached to me, so I'm just dragging it. Okay, I see. Uh... Throw a monster. It's a frog. <laughs> Thank you kindly, miss. Now that he's back in the pen, Frog looks happy as can be. I say he took a liking to you. You've been exploring in Tangle Leaf, haven't you? I'll bet you could use a companion. I can take care of myself. Well, of course you can, but even the toughest scrappers can better for a well-trained monster by their side. You can buddy up with any monsters in the corral if they're happy enough, and they'll follow you wherever you go. Any healing effects you use will help your pet, but they aren't invincible. I want some pet in this room in case things get hairy out there. Sure, your pet beast will gain XP when you do, and you can even level up. Even a scrawling monster, scrawny monster can a real slugger with, a, with enough XP. Now there is another way to make your pet pals feel even stronger. You'll need a couple of captured monsters that feel nice and friendly toward each other. 
find some rose petals and, well, you might end up with a new critter that's even more powerful. Hmm. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Okay, so this is sort of a feature in um, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, like you meet critters in, in, out in the, in, the, in the wild and you can get them to join your party. Uh, so this is the same sort of thing, I guess. Target dummy. Uh, what's this do? Magic seeds from Tangle Deep. Bring them right over here and plant in one of these here professional dirt piles I made. And you gotta leave it to Old Lingdon. You gotta go off and adventure further into Tangle Deep. I'll do the hard work of watching trees grow. Each piece of tree grows different types of food. Might somewhere end up some valuable leaves. Let them grow nice and old. Old trees drop more stuff. So you can put pushing in Tangle Blurb. <laughs> you can chop it down. Uh, do uh okay. So, um... I think. Yeah, I can plant those trees that I found, and then they'll, like, give me good stuff, eventually. I'm, I don't know if that's basically the permanent progression part of the game, or... Something like that, it looks at things. You've collected several ingredients, why not try cooking them at the campfire? By combining ingredients you can create meals with powerful effects, find seasoning to get extra bonuses. Experiment with different ingredients to discover recipes which are written in your journal. You might have recipes in other places too. Okay, the campfire's over here somewhere, right? Yeah, there it is. Uh, let's try making a fruit salad. Fruit bowl. Uh, grilled fruit? Hey, it's warm and it's sweet. That's something to keep me my best for a while. Sounds good. Uh, what's this? Chocolate? Uh, let's try combining it with some mint. Mint chocolate's nice. Mint fudge. Oh, wow. Two minty fresh pieces of chocolate with vanilla in between. Where'd the vanilla come from? Uh, I can cook the cheese with an apple? I don't know, I'm just guessing. Tangle deep curry. It's hot, it's hearty. It's made with questionable ingredients. Okay, so if you just put in random things, I guess that's what happens. What if I put a bunch of bananas together? Still a fruit bowl. Okay. Just cook one apple, what do I get? Nothing. You gotta cook at least two things. Okay, well, I found some ingredients. No time to make a dish from scratch. You're next to a campfire. You can instantly make cook recipes you already know. Just open your journal recipe tab and press A to instantly make that recipe. As long as you have the ingredients. You can still interact with the campfire to create custom dishes and use seasoning. Alright. I can't rest at this campfire because that would be free healing. Uh, and they don't want you to have that. They want you to pay for your healing. Ooh. What about your food? Outstanding. Huff puff. I start with the best all natural ingredients. Locally sourced, of course. Kick it up with a pinch secret spice blend and that's it. Eat food to recover stats quickly. Blah 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 blah. So I could get some more ingredients from this guy. Uh, and then I could try some other recipes maybe. Kind of wrapping up at this point, I think you probably get the idea of the game. Um, so yeah, basically it's like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, uh, but more furries. <laughs> I mean, no, there's, there's a lot of furries in, in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Um, it's exactly like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, but uh, it's got more pixel art than that, that game on the Switch does. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, it looks like fun to me, and I'm, I'm liking it. Oh, I see. Some of these foods are more filling than others. Like, this one, 16 turns, and so you can't eat for a long time. Oh, that's what a mystery egg does. Okay. 
Campfire roasted meat? Ooh. Yeah, that sounds good. Juicy apple. Tangled egg curry. Quick step. Floriconda. Gray spinning plant. Can I find anything else yet? Oh, I can. Um. Oh, thorn skin sounds really good. There we go. Um, yeah, I think that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, that's Tangled Ape. It's extremely a roguelike. In extremely a mystery dungeon sense. <laughs> uh, it's got some really, really nice visuals, though. Really, really nice. So yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye! Um, obviously if you like this kind of game, here it is. Play it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Bye!